How's it going fellas? My name is Orosh and this is another episode of Mortal Kombat 11 In today's episode I have planned that I am going to explore the crypt This is the bonus episode, there is one more like I mean the crypt is interesting because it has some kind of story going on But it's mostly for just Yeah, accept, whatever I had to make a goddamn new account and everything just because What? I didn't know that. I love the Chronica announced her voice and receives daily login rewards by looking your Mortal Kombat mobile. I do I did play the mobile game. It's, it's based on MKX, unless they did a new one. Which I don't think they did. So I'm just gonna go to the crypt. Immediately go to the crypt, check out whatever the hell is in there see if I was playing on my normal account that I use all the time then I wouldn't I would just come back to where I left off I wouldn't have all this cool stuff go going on the crypt it's pretty badass to be honest and it makes me wonder like I remember that there were rumors before this game came out or even was announced that there is going there's some testing of a Mortal Kombat game with the style of Shaolin monks which turns out that it was just the crypt. But still, that's pretty cool. Welcome, traveler. I am Shang Tsung. And this is my island. I bid you welcome to explore. Hidden among the island's ruins are treasure, magic, and very special artifacts. Take what you want within reason. You'll find the time spent here is well rewarded. Really strange because you know really this is just for unlocking customization items. So immediately what you may think is who the fuck is this guy? Well he is no one. He's just some fuckface you get to play as. Doesn't even look that cool. He looks like a really just fast put together character, they put some shitty mask on him that he can wear for probably no reason. One thing that you also may notice now that I'm running and moving is that this looks like God of War. And yes, it does look like God of War. And it just makes me wonder what would be if they made like a God of War styled Mortal Kombat. That would be pretty awesome. So we get to unlock a bunch of garbage. But since this is not even the account I'm gonna be using, I'm not going to unlock any of it. I'm gonna maybe get... One thing I do have to point out is that sometimes you do have to... Open chests to unlock like items that make you progress through the... Through the crypt itself. And that's why... Ah uh, shit, when I was in the... Main menu, this kid doesn't even like look around or anything. He's like a dead stare. When I was in the menu I could've... I go into my rewards or whatever and they would give me like 500,000. Okay, but this is really fucking cool to be honest. This moon and everything. Apparently Nintendo Switch version of the crypt is so fucking ugly and disgusting. Like I've seen it and it just like... Like you wouldn't be able to see the moon and it would just be dark. It fucking sucks. Really that hard to pull off on a Switch? Doesn't make the Switch look very good. Anyway, we got a hammer. Now we can fuck shit up. Like this wall, for example. Hmm, <laughs> would you look at that? We found something. Found the creepy forest. This uh, mode is also full of jump scares for some reason. There's a special scorpion chest. There's a bunch of special uh, chests that you can, like, for example, these soul ones. Which you can only unlock by using souls, and also have to find a special item. Then there are normal chests, like this one, right? Oh, that's a cool one. Wait, what? Face of Ta Takeda's mentor. Oh yeah, because Scorpion was Takeda's master, I forgot about that. Sucks that Takeda didn't make it into the game, to be honest. Here we go, we have a puzzle. <sighs> Check it out. It looks it it's a uh, sector. I got his name wrong again, I think. I don't know. 
I don't remember. Try not to make a skeleton. Because if you make a skeleton, then you die. Okay, because I was just pulling these randomly. Here we have Sector. I don't know, is Sector dead? I, I guess he died during the story because he just blew up. But Sector was like a robot. He could be easily revealed, right? So even... We don't even have this many hearts. Hearts is another form of currency. Basically, this is... Those three stats in the corner, those are all... Oh, no. Oops. How much time do you need? I burned to death. I'm just a skeleton now. Fortu I mean, fortunately, you don't really get any kind of penalty for dying. You just don't get anything. I might also want to try to make a demon come together. Also, I got a strange feeling the guy voicing this guy, like making all those grunts. It, that's, that's Cabal, isn't it? I guess Cabal is like the most normal sounding person in the game. If you think about it, Cabal is just kind of a normal guy. Probably the most boring out of all of them. He has a cool looking design and a cool looking sword. Okay, just spins the entire thing around. Fucking shit. Come on. I got a demon head. Something. Got a demon body. And now we put him. Ah, oh, Okay, if I get those legs now. Not the robot. Wait, I should get it now. There we go. I don't think that's a character. At least I don't recognize him as a character. Seems like it's just some shitty ass. Shit head. I got a... Fucking a ninja mask? Looks like a triangle to me. It's a sub-zero. Ninja mask. Oh, that's an augment. It's not an item, that's an augment. You can put it on an item and it like gives you bonus stat stats. Like for example... I don't know what it is. Increased ice? Like an attack that does more damage now? I am going to unlock some of these crates because some of them have actually... Actually items that I need to progress. Also I was quite convinced that I'm just not gonna make an episode of this but I had to make a new account and shit. I don't want to have like two accounts and switch between them. I only made this one so I can make this stupid video. And it gave me gave me some shitty ass nickname I don't even understand. Okay, can I fuck this up? <laughs> Apparently no. But I can probably fuck this gate up. Also, how did like Shao Kahn's hammer happen to be here? I feel like that's that like his old hammer? It has the Mortal Kombat logo on it. Mortal Kombat seems to forgot about that Scorpion is in their logo, but Dragon is... This is weird, it's like a guy... ...with his legs chopped off? Good lord, I never noticed that he has no legs, and no feet. But how the hell didn't his spine broken? he's just like straggling, struggling to, to live? Uh, I think you can run. Okay, that's how you run. There's like a thing that can... God damn it, I just want to use it. So, if you're like, for example... Unlocked every chest possible, but still didn't unlock everything, then you get to... Pay 2,000 and... Make a chest, like... Fill it so it's constant again, so you can open it again. And get them. Also, sometimes in the, le in the levels there's just like random meteors. That's not a meteor, that's a cannonball, but I don't even know why the fuck is it here. There is a meteor somewhere in this stage. There's a giant gone too. If 
first time when you get here, you get a lot of fucking stuff. I only been to Crypt like two times in my other account just because it's like every time I get a lot of items, I get I go here just so I can actually do something. Because when you have no money, you I guess you can run around solve puzzles, but it doesn't really do anything. It was alongside solving puzzles, solving puzzles cool and all, but like a lot of time. I unlock a location and I kind of hope that the game would just make me, like, would give me something in that location so I can progress into another one, but, like, I would struggle to solve a puzzle, then I would solve it, and then I would go into a location, and it would just turn out that it didn't have anything in it. Just a couple of chests, that's it. It's got another fucking struggle to, to breathe guy, that's fucked up. I feel like, get out of my way. There should be more stuff around here. There's a meteor. That's not a meteor. I'm quite convinced you have to find a meteor at some point. Hold on. Wait, is that where the... We're on Shanksun's Island, by the way, if you don't remember. Is that like where the... St oh, there's a gong. Is that like where the stage takes place in Mortal Kombat 1? Ah, oh, it's a broken one. Or some kind of not broken one. I'm just gonna make my way. You ca I can't get them down, by the way. And I, you don't. It's not like you actually save them. When you find Scorpion Spear, that you get to find. This is my only vocation. I'm also an inventor. While a modest endeavor, this forge is my finest. Transmute collected items into new items you might find. And that skull on it was a really important thing I had to put, right? Couldn't go without putting a goddamn face on it. So I don't even know how this works. Like you add items to it. Like throughout this, like when you open a chest, you get to have like items that, for example, increase the amount of chests. I mean, like increase, lower the price of chests for like 30 seconds, so you get to, like run really quickly and open them while they're cheaper. And you can put them here and get something out of it, but you have to have like recipes. And it doesn't work like you put just random free items and you get something cool. Do heights frighten you? If so, may I recommend you turn back? Mind the edge. Fall, and you will be impaled on the spikes below. Oh no, I wouldn't want to earn like like no one <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. Here's a strange gate, I don't even remember how you got it open. So this is a cool one because it's actually the pit. At one stage that was in both um, Mortal Kombat 2. Then also had a stage that was like based on the pit. Based was the pit. And as you can see there's Flame Knuckle or actually his name was Blaze and something Knuckle. That's, that's like the... Those are the two characters that are like always fighting in the background in the pit. And they're never like playable, unless maybe in Armageddon they may they made them playable because in Armageddon had like shit ton of characters that mostly were shit. But I really like this view. I mean, there's the huge moon that gives this really ridiculous light that the moon shouldn't give. I think there's like a volcano next to it. You can see there's a castle in the distance. There's another castle. There's a goddamn castle. I didn't notice that one. Does that mean that Shang Tsung hangs out in the castle? Why the fuck are they fighting? And apparently, if you actually zoom the camera in, I, I found that out by watching Boundary Break. It turns out that the, uh, the guy who's not on fire, right? That's actually Rain. You know, the purple ninja. That's actually Rain, and he just... I think it's his model from MKX. But like, lower polygon version of it. So, that is interesting. Like an amulet? I have no idea where to get that. Also, I don't know why, but the camera in this script is not always like working as you would like it to. Sometimes it's just as kind of annoying. Child, I pray to earn the gods' fame. As an adult, I've learned that gods prefer tribute. Share your wealth and be rewarded. So I don't know what this guy is, but he looks scary. So this is like an easier way to get stuff. You can just like donate coins to him. He'll just give you items. 
I'm gonna like donate 1,000. Let's see if I get something out of it. Where does this guy keep all these coins? And I got Chronicus Amulet. That's a key item, apparently. Oh, I got a charm. I got a charm and it's a key item. See, I told you you have to open chests to get the important stuff. Which is why I don't think I will progress as far into the crypt as I would like to because I just don't have all the items and I would have to like just spend my time opening crates. And then if I wouldn't get lucky and for example open a crap ton of crates and didn't get anything out of it, then I would suck. There's actually a pretty lake over there. That's nice. It's like Shang Tsung like walks by that lake and just like relaxes. I doubt it. I mean, he owns a goddamn island. Oh, look, there's a puzzle. Okay, I'm supposed to make the dragon logo, right? And the last one. Or not. That's what I wanted you to do. Okay, there. How about now? It really does sound like Kabal. There we go. The coolest logo in game. Can't think of a cooler one. Yeah, so we made it. We solved under the shitty puzzle. At least this one actually gave us access to another area in the game instead of just not giving us anything really interesting. So, um, in this location, I don't even know what we have to do. So I don't know why these sounds, these things are making something just like cut off. Okay, I don't, I don't remember what I have to do. I think I have to open it like from a different room entirely. So let us go. Also to unlock the bridge and pit, you have to get like 2,000 souls, so that's kind of expensive. And I never got that, so that kind of sucks. I love the original roast roaster, that's cool. What the fuck's that? OG roster. I don't even know what these are. Like, there's a bunch of statues. With every character in the game, I believe. This is like what? Uh, collector, I think? Noob, Sonya, Collector. Might be Raiden. No, that's Raiden. Who's this? I don't know. Uh, Jade? Cabal. This shrine is where I fought Liu Kang. Hey, no. Rather than taste final victory, I was force-fed defeat. If that monk thinks I've forgotten, he is sorely mistaken. Okay, so he still has a grudge against Liu Kang. That's Kitana, Eren. That's a soldier from TF2. What the fuck is this? Wait, what character looks like this? What? Who is this? What character in the game has like a... Like a thing going over his eyes? Kenshi isn't playable, so... What's Soldier TF2? If you main him, then I guess you get it. Coral Khan. Okay, then. And it's Gassy. Shokan, that's Baraka. Score, Sub-Zero. 
I don't know who the fuck this is supposed to be. Maybe Devora, Liu Kang, Scorpion, Frost, Death Jade. So the other one was Scarlet, I think. Uh, Cetrion. Not Scarlet. Jax and Johnny. Okay. Who the fuck is Soldier from TF2? Don't hear though. That's Sonya. Raiden's statue get destroyed. What does that mean? Liu Kang is still here. He said like a thing about Liu Kang being an asshole. So why the hell did the Liu Kang statue get destroyed? Goro, Kano, Johnny, and Scorpion. What the fuck? That's not the full roster. Where is Sub Zero? And the ninja is represented by this guy. Like did they combined him into one. I don't know why Sonya doesn't look really like Sonya from the first game. She looks like she has a fucking bikini on. Okay, what does this do? And I got a gem of the living. That's cool. Yeah, some items can be used as keys to open new passages. That's cool. I know that. So we got a shortcut. Not too exciting. But I'm thankful I did get a shortcut because that would mean I would have to go all around to get back to that place that actually uses the Stone of the Living. Here's like a thing that I have no idea what to do about. It's like these three things. Three dead bodies and this statue lowers his hand over here. And then you have locked. And I don't understand what, how to unlock it. What do I have to find to unlock this thing? I don't know, but it's clear that it was designed just to make you spend a lot of fucking time opening chests. I find it kind of interesting how video game designers are really trying to push that, uh... Okay, it didn't work. That, uh... The satisfying feeling of opening a crate. This one like opens with soul, has this explosion with gold making sound effects and shit like that. You know, it's making you feel good about opening the chest, you know. There's like this whole psychology thing to it. Which I'm not too knowledgeable about, but I don't really even give a shit to be honest. I mean, I guess you can entirely just not spend any money on this game. I mean, I only spend money to will buy the game. And then I never did. Oh, there we go, we got some more fucking money. Uh, so there's a bunch of shit in this room. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think, god damn it, the camera's really not that good. Seems like Nether Realm aren't really knowledgeable about doing anything but fighting games. I guess this isn't the wars. The camera definitely could use some work. Definitely wasn't a priority to make the goddamn crypt absolutely great. Yeah, that's definitely Cabal. We can over here open another path. The beginning, that's cool. We got another shortcut and I believe there's a key item inside. Yeah, here we go. Fuck yeah. Now we can get to an even bigger part of the crypt, the underground. Oh, what the fuck, saw that? Crypt disappeared for a moment. So now that we have the horn of the monster or whatever the fuck, I didn't really listen. So can I go here? I have a feeling like this, this thing also should open. There's some characters returning. I know that there's even like a reptile actually showing up in the crypt, which is kind of disappointing he didn't show up in the game, but a reptile is somewhere in the crypt, but I actually have no idea where he is. I haven't found him myself. The collector is in the crypt, you can actually just talk to him, he sells you items. I mean, he sells you items, he can trade you items if you find some different items that he wants. And I found Goro's lair. Which is funny because in, even in the game story, we actually went to this 
Shang Tsung's island. We followed Jax and Jackie going through Shang Tsung's island. And they even went to Gorath's tomb. And there's even a fighting stage in this game that looks like the, this underground part. Here we go, an elevator. I'm not too sure about the how canon is this thing. Because you can find dead body of Kano in this crypt. And Kano, well, he died in the story, but he didn't die in the fucking Shanksons Island. And you can find, it's not even his dead body, it's his skeleton. So it's even less of a dead body now. So how do I open the, the map? There we go. That's a nice way to know what I checked and what I haven't. I want to find two particular things in this. I want to find Kenshi and Ermac. Which I already spoiled. Uh, yes, they are in the crypt. Oh, this is an interesting door. I actually know how to get through it. You have to get soul of the one being, mind of the one being, and heart of the one being. And this is unlocked by performing 10 fatalities, or maybe even more, I don't remember the amount. 10... Uh, how the fuck are these called? Mercies, and 10 brutalities, which I don't even know how to perform brutalities. Like, whenever I play on these things... This is a chest, and this is a weird one because it just like randomly appears in the fucking stage. Oh, that's a cool sight. Look, I unlocked it and I got more money from it, that's cool. Thanks. This is like a weird looking dead guy. Looks like he could possibly kill me if I didn't watch out. There's another one of those that reset. Hey, look who's there. Look who is this. Of all my champions, I miss Goro most. Your lucky is dead. He would have eaten you for daring enter his lair uninvited. See, like, how canon is it that Goro's dead? I don't even remember what, remember when he died. Maybe he died in 9. I don't remember, man. It's possible he could die in 9. Okay, let's go to the... Uh, there's like two paths right now. One leads over here. <laughs> I know this breaks for sure, but you gotta like find a way to break it. Uh, so let's go this way. Why is it locked? Oh, never mind. So this is a whole big ass dining area, that's cool. I keep earning money, I have almost the same amount of money I had before. Another Goro statue, I guess Goro was really in love with himself. And that's the... That's... Kano's skeleton. With a chicken leg in his hand. This is a reference to the Mortal Kombat movie. Where there was a scene where Kano was eating with Goro. And... I don't really... Think this thing is canon. I mean, when we found out the ending to the game, it seems like... Nothing's canon anymore. Because they're just gonna reboot it, this the story again. I don't know. Like they could do something with this story, right? Also, like they killed off all the characters. They could add a bunch of cool new ones, like they did with the ten. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, this way first. Is it locked? Yes, it's locked. One thing I find annoying about Goro's lair that's so confusing and kind of complicated. So many souls met their end in this dark prison. <laughs> I took so much pleasure in their pain. Damn, you're fucked up, Shang Tsung. I wouldn't want to meet you. And real life? Okay, I don't think I can make progress. Oh, there's a guy over here. A Shaolin monk, what is he doing? What the fuck was this? There's sometimes jump scares in these in the crypt. 
Some of them can even kill you. Okay, I don't think I can progress through this for now. I definitely need to find Kenshi to progress further into the into the crypt because there's a bunch of stuff for me. Okay, or maybe I have to go this way. No, I think this is where you meet Ermac, actually. And I guess he also has a, an item for me, so let's try and go and meet him. Let's go and meet Ermac, who's my favorite character in Mortal Kombat. And I wouldn't ever want anything bad happen to him, it would make me sad. Oh well. Yeah, that's what happens to Ermac. He doesn't even get a cool death, he just gets like a fate. Hey, this is Ermac, check this shit out. Maybe it's not Ermac, but I doubt it. It looks like him. Ah oh, yeah, there you go, confirmation. Ermac's amulet. Act as a focus of blah blah blah. I mean, look, they even redesigned him. He has a new design. Not as, no near as cool as the one in X. And they just killed him off. Do you think he was supposed to die in the crypt, or was he like maybe meant to? Actually, be like a fighter in the game, but then they scrapped him or something. I feel like everybody got them like Darmac. And apparently, somewhere in this place. Uh, let me see. Let me look around. Oh, there's something. What the hell is this? It's like a Goro looking guy. It's not Goro. We clearly just met Goro. And dead on his chair. There's another impaled dead body around here that looks kind of interesting. Around, but around where? It's like a pink ninja you can actually find, and he looks kind of like a classic ninja from MK. And he gets impaled somewhere too. I don't know, is it like a random thing that happens here, or is it. Or do I. Or maybe it's like somewhere different. I don't know. Well, we found Ermac, he's dead now. Sucks. You can kind of guess that I was saying that we have to go and find Kenshi. You can kind of guess that Kenshi's dead too. I don't even know why. What the hell would they be doing on Shang Tsung's fucking island? Like, why the hell Ermac fell off a goddamn bridge? That's such a shitty death. Was he fighting someone there? I don't think so. You know, if they redesigned this guy and didn't just like put a bunch of random shit on him. They couldn't make him into a pretty cool character, I guess. Here we go, let's go, let's go. Okay, now that I have this. Actually, it doesn't give me an idea. What the fuck do I have to do now? I definitely, definitely have to go through this somehow. I gotta get like a thing that opens these things. But I don't have them for now. Well, that's what happened. Okay. That's good to know. What if I use a bunch of these soul things? They give me items too. Oh, collector trade, okay. So I can trade with collector, that's cool. I don't even care about any of these items, I just want to unlock these like, key items. Also, apparently, it actually costs $6,000 to unlock everything if you want all the customization items. And so far, I think like one person unlocked everything so far, so that's kind of not messed up, I guess, but like impressive. 
was I, what was I, what was I meant to say? Okay, I think this is a uh, scorpion spear appears. A bunch of more rooms. I don't remember when where the collector shows up. I'm not even sure that he always shows up. So I don't understand why this guy just out of nowhere knows how to use the spear. Like I always thought that the spear was kind of not easy to use. But apparently even a child can operate it, that's cool. That's great, great to know. See I unlocked this chest I think, no I didn't. Now destroy those things and it opens the chests. You gotta open with the heart. You gotta open the chest with your heart. And I got a bunch of shit. A forge item. Currency. Okay, cool. Got some crap. Let's go this way now. I'm just gonna stop. Look, I got all my money back. That's fun. So I didn't even. I actually earned more money than I spent. Try opening the chest. It's because I need key items. There you go. The charm. I don't even know what that does. Uh, where can I use the key items? Okay, can I use this? What did I do? Oh shit, I think that just made it all the chests cheaper. Fuck, 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 why'd they do that? I thought that would summon the... the collector. Oh, those are pretty cool. You can't even stop to like, look at the stuff you unlock because then it's like, waste of time. Quick, 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 open chest. I don't even know what I got. Oh, come on, the timer's gone and the thing was loading, really? I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff on the wall. And I didn't get any key items, that sucks. So there's like more statues of Goro, Mortal Kombat logos, some shitty items that would be cool if they were like callbacks to the previous games. This one seems like it's a callback. There were these like weird uh, characters in Armageddon that looked like some kind of dead bodies put it back together and they had like weird weapons. So maybe that was like a callback to them. No one fucking cares about them though. Alright, seems like we're making some sort of progress. So that's good. I think I'm about to meet Kenshi over here. Let me see the map. Yeah, you can see that the collector is actually marked on the map. Behold the final resting place of Kenshi Takehashi. Valiant and brave. He was an excellent warrior, which made feeding on his soul most enjoyable. He had impaled by his own sword. Can she get killed? He was my main in MKX. I don't even. I haven't even decided who's my main. In. I just took his fucking bandana like it's no big deal. I look like shitty ass Rambo samurai. Can she's dead? He his corpse is like rotten. See, I don't see the reason why Kenshi would, like, go into this place anyway. And why would he fight all these demons? And then why would he just, like, get killed and all, already rot? Does that mean he was, like, here for a long time or something? That's it. Yeah, I guess. So as you can see now, that's the reason I would why I was looking for a bunch of other things before because 
can only destroy them, I guess, when you have the bandana. You can't do that before you have it. What about this one? Also, you can't run when you have the bandana. And it sometimes happens that when, when you put on the bandana, it turns out that it's a monster and it kills you. So that's always fun. There's nothing inside here. Why did I even bother to open this? Okay, I would like to make it to collector and see if I can actually trade for something funny. Something cool in this place. Definitely have to make progress by putting on the blindfold and finding some kind of hidden passage. Just as where the fuck is it? I don't know. I have no clue. Maybe there's like something here. Or just a chest. Uh, what's this? This is so slow when I have this on. Hold on, this is where I came from. Oh my god, this is brutal. So this is where I can go now. This one leads to where? Have I not come from this? No, I didn't. Oh, that's where Scorpion Spear was, okay. Which I believe it doesn't have anything all that interesting in this room. Let's go this way now. God damn it, camera, why are you so janky? Okay, then my eyes begin to hurt. What the fuck? I wanna go to sleep. God damn it. I feel like I'm most of the time recently I'm just pissed off and tired all the goddamn time. So this is the room with all the all the cool stuff in it. Queen Shiva, I don't even care. How important to the plot is she anyway? I don't know. Quit fucking scaring me, you piece of shit. Okay, so this is where I just been. I don't want to open this. It's so tempting, those nice chests. I'm not loading properly, that's cool. Okay, let's go to the dining area again and see if there's something cool I can find. And if not... I don't kill those poor people. See, so now that, he've, that we have the scorpion spear, we can actually open a bunch of passages and... In the pre in the previous like higher level of this place, okay. I think that's supposed to be something. One time when I looked at over here and I used the blind foil, I was attacked by a monster. Okay, so this is where Kenshi was. Oh wait, that was that's where it was uh yeah, that's the part where it was like everything was hidden and I couldn't progress. There we go. We got a Shao Kahn chest. Oh, here we go. We're making progress. Not sure how much progress I will be able to make, but eh, some. A little bit. Fuck am I now? Back in the surface. Yeah, but where exactly on the surface am I? I'm like in another some kind of weird temple. Okay, it doesn't seem to have anything all that interesting. Fuck, I thought I would have like really good items or something or that's a cool outfit. That anything that would actually give me like a bonus. 
I have said that this is the account I'm not gonna be using for playing games. I only made it just so I can play through the crypt. From the beginning, and I'm getting more cool items than I did on my normal account. Like this Garrus outfit looks way cooler than any other Garrus outfits I have. Yeah, that's not a cool one though. That's a shitty one. That's a shitty outfit. Any outfit that makes Kano bald and ugly, doesn't have a cool beard, is a shitty item in my opinion. So I don't think I was going fast enough for the bandana to actually raise up. Seems like the bandana doesn't give a crap about physics. I don't know what engine Netherrealm uses for these games, but... You know, if they made... I can interact with these things now. Okay, okay, I gotta, I gotta check it out. When I first did that, right, and I immediately could like open one of those doors. I just went with the first better one and I didn't do it properly. So what if we... Oh, I can open this. i actually never been to this room. There's a bunch of deadly traps. Okay. i never been to here. I don't even know what the fuck is this place. Plenty of time to run through. Yeah, okay, I think I'm safe. Right, see, now I can't open any more of those. So when I've played on my first account, I kind of wasted that opportunity. What happened? Something weird happened to the screen. Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll see Ermac. I mean Ermac. Maybe I'll see Reptile. Okay, this place is weird. What is this noise? Can I destroy this? Do I have to have a blindfold on? It's a giant spider. Oh my god! How I much time do you need? I didn't expect it to be a fight. Okay, do I actually fight a spider? God damn it! Really I delayed really this punch. When you play press square, right? He takes like pulls out the hammer and has a has to do the swing. Get out of here! I never been to this location, so it's kind of new. So I'm not too sure what to what to expect. See, I gotta time it right. And apparently, this is some kind of Devora team. Oh my God! What is this? It's gonna come to life. What's happened to the music? I don't know why this this place gives me some kind of Terraria vibe. Terraria had a bunch of like fucked up insect monsters you had to fight with. And the worst thing is when you when I wasted right that ability to open this door. I actually don't know how to get. I'll try to get a second chance to open one of those doors. There was only a one of these fighters that I actually had to fight. That's not too bad. Uh, where is... Where is anything, really? I wanna find Reptile, he's like the only l reference in the crypt left. And I don't know where he is. Oh, not you! Your time would be better spent elsewhere. 
Yeah, but the, I don't know. It sucks. These spiders are too OP for me. Okay, I don't want to go in this place. I want to get out of here. All the traps are turned off now. Maybe you have to find some kind of like reptile looking statue, I believe. Let's right, look around here. And you definitely have to put this thing on. I don't remember that. More paths, holy shit. I don't believe I've been this way. Oh look, I can interact with another one of those doors, but I don't want to waste that. Shattered staff, I don't have that. We cannot waste the opportunity to unlock this door, so let's go somewhere else. Oh wait. So I gotta unlock one of those doors, but one of those doors that actually matters. Instead of just like a random one. Let's turn off. Yeah, I think it did. Actually, kind of curious what would happen if I just got hit by that. There's no more of these doors around here. I don't know how long this episode is gonna get, but I'm gonna fucking unlock a bunch of shit and solve the puzzles, alright? I need to solve them. Damn puzzles, I wanna see if the monster shows up. Doesn't show up. So if you're low on coins, you can smash those things whenever you see them. I guess it's some coins. Not much, but still. Better than not getting any coins. Okay, so I believe we made all the progress we possibly could in the dungeon. Let's try to make our way out of here. While also trying to kind of maybe... See if we can get anywhere. See if we can get anything cool. Okay, so that's the way to collector's place. Oh, here we go. Let's first go to the collector, check him out. Check out what he's doing. It's not doing much, to be honest. Sometimes it's kind of funny because it like, sh like a normal person shows up over here and just kind of stands and browses items and you can just kill him. Here we go, we got some garbage. A collector was supposed to be here. He has Kung Lao and Raiden's hats for sale. Some other garbage. So he's not here, but he shows up here and just stands here and like, uh, trades with you. I don't know why he didn't show up. Let's see what where this leads. How is this that I'm making better progress now that I did when I was playing on my own? This is a thing about my videos. Like I actually most of the time do better than I do just playing by myself. I don't know. Is it like talking over stuff making me do that? Wait, what the fuck? I'm here. How the fuck I got here? Okay, I guess. So some oh look, we can pull these poor souls down. I murdered them. Of course. It's always about murder. And this guy is so brutal too, he like rips them two pieces. With his bare hands. I can't make my way there, but I believe I know how to do that. You gotta go to this wall and fuck it up with uh, that. I believe there's nothing really important here, so that's kind of shame. Kind of sucks. I wish every location that was like hidden and looked important was like actually important. You can actually do something in it. 
instead of being just this boring place that I found. Some lot more chests, can I? Okay, that's a shitty item, I don't even know what it is. Some kind of bow? That sucks. That's not badass at all, that's stupid. That's some pussy stuff, alright? Okay, here we go, we found another room with chests and really no key items, that's kind of what annoys me that I get no key items. I wish to get more key items so I can actually progress through this stupid place. Okay, I got an idea, let's see if I can make, so make something with the statue that I found before. Maybe got an item that actually lets me do it. And if not, I'll go to one more place, see if we can go through that. And that's it. Let's see if I can interact with this. I still cannot, and I have no idea how to do that. I mean, I believe all it will do is just open these so I can open more chests. The video is getting really long. Also, I don't know how to get inside here. Putting on the bandana doesn't do anything because I already checked a lot of times before. So we're gonna not donate to this guy. We're gonna go this. Actually, wait a minute. Why didn't it went this way before? I forgot that this is a path. Can I see dead Aramak from here? I can't. Can't move a camera like that. How about now? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's him? I'm not sure. So, it's not for really here, all these places. All this place has are some chests. I'm kinda lame. Music makes it sound like it's something terrifying is about to happen, but nothing's about to happen. It's just a fucking loot box marathon. So now I can pull this down, and it actually opens the bridge. But once again, I don't believe it does anything useful. Disco ball? Dancing monk? What the fuck? I don't get the reference or something. So once again, there's absolutely nothing really interesting in this location. That kind of sucks. I got one more idea where I could possibly go and see if I can find anything. Let's open a crate. I got more money back, what the fuck? I'm just gonna donate it to him. See if I can get anything good. Uh, nine. Nine town. Give me some items. Come on, mate. Do good. Oh, that's a shitty fucking hat. Maybe I can do something around here with this tree. No, I can't. Let's see. Two, like, a couple of more places where I had some stuff. I don't have the dragon amulet. Okay, that sucks. I definitely don't have 2,000 souls required to rebuild the bridge, which doesn't seem to lead anywhere interesting anyway. I have, like, 1,000 something souls on my other account, and I'm just saving. Like, I'm hoping that there will be some kind of event that would give you some souls, so I can actually progress. Maybe I can use, try to use the forge. And it costs $40,000. What the fuck? I don't have this kind of amounts. Who do you think I am? There's absolutely nothing that way. 
Can I think of one more place where we could possibly go and see if there's anything interesting? Which is here, and I forgot to check because it's kind of really not obvious that you can go this way. Okay, this is over now, long now, that's not good. It's never good. One hour long videos are never good. Why? Because they render long, upload long, and they usually don't have to be that long, like this one. Okay, so I don't know where to find stuff anymore. This is as far as I can go. We met Ermac, we saw what happened to him. We met Kenshi, we saw what happened to him too. Just quit. Like was full of stuff to explore. Can't get out of here, shit. So, see you guys later in the next series. I'm gonna get Steam Sonic Racing sometime soon. I don't know. I guess I will upload it like like I did Mortal Kombat. I don't know how long that game is. But I would like to upload it and beat it before Crash Team Racing comes out. Then I'll get that one uploaded too. And then I guess it will be summer, so we'll come back to Stardew Valley. Holy crap, there's a lot of shit I want to go through. Or maybe... Just maybe, I will not record Stardew Valley this summer. I'll see if I get, like, if I actually have time to do it, then I'll do it. But if I don't, then I'll just ignore Stardew Valley and do it next year or something. There will be like a longer wait. And when I actually come back to Stardew Valley, I'll be like, holy shit, I came back to Stardew Valley. That's so cool. So see you guys later in the next episode. I mean, next series. Bye.